Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to install one of Super ATV's heavy duty front bumpers on this Polaris Razor Turbo. So the first thing that we're going to do is, we're going to reach up here and we're going to grab a hold of each of the two tabs holding the grill into the machine. We'll pull down on them, let's go ahead and slide the grill out and we'll set it aside. And we're going to go ahead and grab our M12 bolts here and we're going to set them up just like this to where we have a washer and then a lock washer. And we're going to grab a hold of the bumper. We're going to lift it up and we're going to slide it right into position. Now if you look underneath where your grill was, you'll see there's two holes in the frame. Those two holes are going to be where we're going to stick these bolts through to bolt in our bumper. We'll just slide our bumper into position so those holes line up. going to get these bolts hand started just so it holds the bumper in place just like that. So now way we can still rotate our bumper around and move it around to get it in position. Next we're going to grab our three M8 screws with our nuts and we're running a heavy duty Super ATV skid plate today so we're going to reinstall our lower piece here that's going to secure the front portion of the skid plate to the machine. So we'll just want to slide this right up underneath this lower flange on the bumper. I just want to kind of hold it in place there. And then I like to just pop my screws through to make it easier. That way it kind of stays where you had it. And this part here can be tricky. This lower bolt down here, if you got big hands like me, it's kind of hard to get in there to get to it. You can absolutely get in there and get to it. You just have to be very careful because if you drop one of these nuts, it's going to go up underneath the differential and once it gets down underneath there, it's almost impossible to get out. So what I like to do is I'll hold this nut just like this in my hands and I'll slide it down this front portion of the frame of the machine. I'll get it lined up with this bolt and then I'll just turn the bolt into the nut while I'm holding it. All right, now that we have all our hardware started, we're going to go ahead and start snugging it up. We're not going to fully tighten anything just yet. So what I like to do is snug up one of the lower bolts and then I go up here to my top bolts and I go ahead and fully tighten them and then we look to see if we need to make any adjustments or shim the bumper in any way. So once you have those bolts tight, we'll come back down here to the bottom and we'll go ahead and we'll fully tighten all three of the bolts. On some machines, the bumper may sit a little bit tight to the machine or a little bit farther away. So what you would do is we send shims. We send you six M12 washers for your top two bolts. Then we send you 10 washers for the smaller bolts on the bottom. So you would add your shims to the inside or the outside. If you need to shim it in or if you need to shim it out, you can get your bumper sitting on there properly. Ours is sitting good. You know, you can slide your hand in all the way through. You know, it's about what you want. You want to be able to get your hand in between it everywhere. You don't want a, you know, a real big gap. But if you were to hit something, you want it to have some space so it doesn't instantly get up on the plastic of the machine. So the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to install our end caps on the end of our bumper tubes because today we aren't going to be installing a full protection kit. If you previously had a full protection kit, or if you're getting one, they would install right here onto this threaded portion of the bumper tube. For this, we're just going to use our M10 Allen headed hardware and then our cap. I'll just thread it right into the end of the bumper tube here. We'll go ahead and we'll fully tighten it. And we'll do the same thing for this opposite side. And we're going to go ahead and grab our grill. And we'll get it reinstalled. And then since we're running our skid plate here in the front, we'll go ahead and we'll reinstall our self-tapping screws. And there you have it. That's how super quick and easy it is. Install Super ATV's heavy duty front bumper on a Polaris Razor Turbo. For more information on this front bumper or any of Super ATV scrape products, feel free to give us a call at 855-743-3427 or check us out online at superatv.com. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.